Hi everyone, how are you? So today video we will learn how to create a drop down in the Bumble. So let's type in. But I, I I think I already told you in the one of the video as a part. So but we will talk about it in detail. Just write the drop down here. Yeah. Create it. Just click a double click on now. One is placeholder. What are the options? What what is the one thing you will uh, put the placeholder? That's it. So, uh, second is the choices. If one is the static choice or dynamic choice. Static choices is a fixed choice. Uh, for example, choice one. Just write and press enter. Choice two. Choice three, four. That's it. And uh, default value. What the default value? Uh, 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 drop down one value. Yeah, default value is a. Uh, what the default value you want to show? So I am. I don't want to show anything. So if you want to show something, for example, there is a choice on choice two. If you want to show something, you can directly show it. The input should not be. I will tell you what exactly. I will tell you more of this. Just let it preview. This will give you more. Uh, so now it is choice one, choice two, choice three. But now there is one empty space is out there. How to remove that? Just go to click on the input should not be empty. That's it. Preview. What choose one? Got it. And third is uh, the input disabled. Click over this preview. We will see what I get to the word first. Disable. Can't able to choose the choices. This is so you can style. If you style, you can customize it according to your. For example, if you remove name of the uh, the font, its size, whatever the color you want to put, alignment. It is some basic stuff. It is uh, if you want to change the placeholder color, you can put that. You can change even the background colors, but the you can color gradient image whatever you want to put. Each uh, yeah, there's a pretty basic common stuff. One more thing, if you choose the dynamic, what is the value of dynamic? Dynamic is something you want to uh, populate data from your API, or you want to populate data from the option set. That is data in the option set, or anything dynamically. For example, you want to. Uh, based upon some operation, for example, you want to populate the data, you can do that too. So we will choose, we will, we will uh, set dynamic based upon the option set. So there is the option set for the country. We will choose the all country, current option caption. That's it. Current option display. So there is a key in the value to this option set country. Is a key. Display. I want to show the display, not the ID. I can show the ID also. I will tell you how. Click preview. Country one, country two, country three. For India, go. If you want to show the ID, just change it to the ID instead of uh. One two three four. So for example, I want. I don't want to. I don't want to show the all the country. I just can filter it out. All country uh, does not contain India, for example. One day. Hmm. Anything, for example, all country first item. For example, you don't want to empty uh, anything is not in first time. There's a lot of you can. I'm not able to think right now what the permutation combination that we can, but we can. So just uh, preview, just click on preview. And this is so you can put a lot of customization over there and many other things. That's it.
if you have any question comment it out i will happy to help you